What's up guys, you Vishnu and you're watching Flatech. So today I got the Samsung Gal Galaxy S7. I managed to get the silver variant. So before unboxing, let's see what's new in this box. On front we have Samsung and Galaxy S7 branding. We got the 32GB variant. On the right it says a color name so we got the silver titanium one. And on the rear we got some specs. Opening this box will premium. Finally Samsung knows where to pack their flagship handsets. On front we have the phone itself, I'll put it aside for a while. Then we have a SIM ejector pin, some booklets, saw values, saw values, <laughs> just kidding. And Samsung this time thrown an OTG connector, that's sweet. Then a cable and a fast charger and by the way this phone support fast wireless charging and headphone which looks similar. Then let's build this plastic off. This phone is thicker than its predecessor but that's good due to its larger 3000mAh battery. On the front we have notification, LEDs, some sensors, earpiece and a 5 megapixel front facing camera and then we have 5.1 inch Core HD Super AMOLED display which is covered by 2.5D Gorilla Glass 4 and then we have a physical home key which acts as a fingerprint scanner and then we have capacitive recent and back key. On the back we have 3D Gorilla Glass 4 and a 12 megapixel camera, LED flash and a heart rate sensor, Samsung branding below. On the right we have power on off button, on the bottom we have speaker, microphone, micro USB port and a headphone jack. On the left we have volume buttons and on the top we have secondary mic and a IR blast, they removed it. So now we have secondary mic and a tray. There we find a SIM slot and a hybrid slot. We can either add a second SIM or a micro SD card. So this variant has Exynos 8890 chip, the one which is being sold in US and China are powered by Snapdragon 820. It has 4GB of RAM and it comes with either 32 or 64GB storage options. Samsung now they stone down the touchwiz and it feels responsive. And that flipboard lag which is so present on the previous generation phone is now gone. And now we get some minimal bloatware like Microsoft apps, Instagram, WhatsApp and Facebook which I think they aren't. Most of the people use these apps. Now let's see which Android version we get. So going on settings, about device and software info. It's running on Android Marshmallow that is 6.0.1. Now let's see how much storage we get from the 32 gigs. So again going on settings, storage, we actually get 24.29 gigs but I have updated few of the stock application therefore it shows 23 gigs. And now the S7 is water and dust resistant. It is IP68 certified. The key thing here is the port are going to be capeless. I will throw some of the images which was taken around my place in outro but initial impression the camera looks really good. So I guess that's it for this video. Do comment down your video request. Subscribe to see more content and if you wanna see camera comparison between iPhone SE versus S7 then do hit that like button. So till then you guys peace out.